It's a particular kind of class taking place in the east of Lithuania. Located in Turugi, just 20 kilometers from the Russian exclave of Kaliningrad, children and adults are welcome here. When the leaflets arrived at school, I really wanted to try the drones, as I've been flying one since I was seven years old. I got one for Christmas. Assembling and programming the drones are an essential part of the course too, with practice also taking place in the form of virtual flights on computers. We have seen that training young people and school children produces long-lasting effects. We've learned lessons from what is happening in Ukraine and believe that the drone industry is something that we need to develop. The country also borders Moscow's ally Belarus, and the decision to open nine schools across Lithuania comes after Russian drones twice flew into its airspace in July. This is a clear signal that Russia will go further. It's already here and it's carrying out what we call hybrid operations. It's looking at how the West is reacting, how NATO is reacting, and what the defense systems are. As the first country to have broken away from the Soviet Union in 1990, Lithuania has been on high alert since the war in Ukraine broke out. It's committed to increasing its military spending, has organized military drills and installed mines, as well as so-called dragon's teeth, designed to block out tanks from crossing its borders.